friends. So today I kind of have a fun video. It's just really simple. I wanted to show you this cool craft that I made for our baby. So we've already revealed the name. Her name is Kiva. And this is how you spell it. K-E-E-B-A-H. And so I wanted to show you how I made this cute craft and kind of like, I don't know, my thoughts on it. So first of all, um, I went to go get one of those monogram like letters and like glue flowers on it was going to be what I wanted to do for like to go above her we have a little nursery corner over here to go above the pack and play but I get to the place and it's one of those places where it's like I don't want to be driving all over town and this is the closest like craft store to me they didn't have any K's that were like I wanted them like the 12 inch ones you know because you want a good size not too small but not too big and I was so frustrated because apparently all oh, they had like almost all the other letters but apparently no K's so apparently K is a really popular name right now or last name or something and people are using those for crafts so I'm really hoping to find one I just haven't been able to do it yet so I did this fun craft and I'll show you um, some video footage of me doing it and kind of explain how I did it because it is cute it's basically just a sign with a name on it and I put some flowers to make it a little bit girly because we're kind of doing the adventure weights type theme but kind of making it girly <laughs> so anyway so without further ado here is me doing the craft see I actually I don't know if you can see it very well but I took a black sharpie and kind of outlined the letters a little bit because this is my first time ever working with stencils <laughs> and so I definitely need some practice but overall I think it turned out really cute I mean the thing that frustrated me though is I was looking on Etsy and to purchase like a name sign kind of like this or something similar it was really expensive it was like 60 bucks or so now this all the ingredients like the paint the sign the stencils which are like the paint and stencils i can use like another time it was like 40 dollars for all the ingredients so it still wasn't as cheap as i would have liked it to be but man crafty stuff is getting expensive i blame hgtv <laughs> anyway so this is how it turned out i think it turned out really cute it definitely like i said it was definitely a learning curve for me and the stencils I feel like I need some better practice and figure out how because the thing is I wanted to like I don't know how to like keep them from moving because you can tell like the letters bled just a little bit so outlining it with the sharpie I don't know if you could see that it kind of helped kind of give it more of a 3d effect but I really liked I used I think these are like cherry blossoms and then these remind me of like peonies but they're kind of small but I thought you know they were cute and just adding a little bit of like floral accent to it because I've been kind of into that floral. So I'm like, adventure weight slash floral is kind of what I'm looking at. But overall, I think it turned out really cute. I really like the blue kind of tealish color because that's kind of what we're going with and kind of like the salmon-y of the flowers. So yeah, we 
getting close, counting down. I'm trying to get like, I'm trying to like pace myself because I don't want to get overwhelmed, but I also am trying to get as much stuff done before I get too tired to do anything. Because I have a feeling like once we hit like, you know, full term, like 37, 38 weeks, I'm going to be like, it all better be done because it's not happening now. So I still haven't packed my hospital bag yet. I probably should do that. It's just one more thing. So we're trying to get just things done because I kind of feel like as soon as this baby comes, like I'm not doing any big major projects for at least probably her first year of life because it's going to be focused on taking care of all my kids and just maintaining what I have. So I thought this was fun. I kind of want to make a sign. They had cute ones that were like teepees for um, like the little camping for um, Corbin. And then there was a couple other ones that I wanted to get for my older girls too because I kind of want to do just like everyone kind of gets their own little like room sign. I think it's cute. So I hope you guys enjoy this. This was a really fun craft, super easy. It didn't take me real long. The The only reason why it took time really was the like to let it dry because of course, you know, you have to let the paint dry. So I think it turned out cute. So anyway, give me a thumbs up if you like this and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time.